Nothing really captures the spirit and anguish of blues music like a white guy wearing Jordan Concords holding a ukulele. So today we're gonna learn how to play pretty much every blues song you'd ever wanna know on ukulele. Now, this is really simple, it's only three shapes, but they're not the basic happy-go-lucky vlog music ukulele shapes. These are the blues ukulele shapes. And again, this is all about the structure and the chords that you need to play the blues. I realize this isn't every blues song, but 90% of blues songs follow this structure, the 12 bar blues, and the whole thing is gonna sound like this. Super easy, sounds really good, very simple to play. Now with ukulele, I do think there's a huge dynamic between the super cheap ukuleles and the nice ukuleles, which are still very reasonably priced. This is an Ortega, which I will link you to below. I'm really liking it. But let's start off. We need four bars of the first chord. Now this is gonna be, we're gonna start off doing it in C, I'm gonna show you how to move it. But basically, C major is like the easiest first ukulele chord you can play. It's just the very highest string, G, C, E, A, so the A string, third fret. Now that's a C. There's nothing bluesy about that. I kind of feel like I'm, you know, like a 13 year old girl at like an open mic right now playing this chord on ukulele. No, we're changing it to the first fret. Right there, this is a C7, a C dominant seven. When you play a blues song, you usually use a dominant seven chord. So we're gonna play four bars of this, a bar being four counts, right? You can do all downstrokes like one, two, three, four, second bar, four counts. Third bar, for you. I've already bored everyone by the fourth bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back and forth between the regular C major chord and the C7 chord. So the third fret to the first fret, okay? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Third bar and the fourth bar. Now we're gonna switch to a different chord for two bars. It's gonna be an F major chord. Now, if you know an F major on ukulele, it's the second fret of this string right here. We're going to skip, we're going to leave this next string open. First fret on the E string on ukulele, right? Now, that's an F major chord. When you take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of which is the C string, the second string from the, from the lowest one here, that gives you an F7. The blues is the sound of different seven chords, the dominant seven chords. So F major, F7. If you play guitar, this could be like a D minor shape, just on this ukulele right here. But this is gonna be the F chord, F7 chord. We're gonna play for two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Whatever strumming pattern you wanna do, just at least make it one, two, three, four, back and forth between the two types of F chords, all right? And then we're gonna go back to that first shape, that C shape, with its kind of bluesy variation for two more bars. One, Now we have one bar of the next chord here, which is a G major chord. Now if you have played guitar before, it looks just like a D major chord. Second fret from the bottom, third fret, second fret, and then open right there, okay? Now to make this bluesy, we almost think of this just upside down. This is a G7 chord, so two, one, two from the bottom up, okay? Now we can just play this chord because we're only on one bar, so if we just go one, now you can go back and forth between using your pinky. See, I'm kind of like inflecting it with that. Again, this is as bluesy as you want. Just look into the sadness in your heart to see if that's something that you want to do. But we only need it for one bar. Then we're gonna do another bar of the F chord. And then we have two more bars of the C chord or a turnaround. So first we're gonna learn the turnaround, then we're gonna go over the entire structure again, all right? A turnaround is basically just something cool you can do, uh, just a little run that brings you back to the beginning. So this one is super easy because we can use the open strings. Okay, so I'm just hitting the C string two times, then the E string two times, then I'm gonna walk up from one to three. So, C, E, first fret, 
fret, second fret, third fret. And then I'm gonna hit that, that third fret a third time. One, two, three. Or I could play a chord, end it on a chord, right? So turn around until you get to the third fret, chord them back to the first bar. Okay, so to recap, we have 12 bars. It's called the 12 bar blues. Four bars of the first chord, which is C. So four bars of C, followed by two bars of the next chord, which is F, followed by two bars of the first chord again, which is C. So that's eight bars total. Then we have one bar of the G chord, G7, one bar of F again, and then two bars of C or the turnaround, which lasts two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back, okay? All those lead up to 12. Honestly, you can just use your ear because this is pretty much every blues song ever. Pretty much every blues song ever. It's gonna sound, you know, pretty good. You'll know when to make these changes kind of intuitively the more you tr try to do it, all right? All together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, second bar. bar there, back to the first bar two times. To that G chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, turn around. And then end on a C7, or if you want to make it a prettier ending, end on the C major right here, okay? So now, this is called the blues in C. We can move these shapes around uh, all over the place. Now, one thing that's great about ukulele is you can do bar chords pretty easily. And we talk, when we talk about this first chord, this C7 chord, if you go through the musical alphabet, we can just make a C sharp seven chord by just moving everything one fret higher. Now, when we move this fret to the second fret, that means the open strings have to become the first fret. Okay, this is be the C sharp blues. We could go one higher than that. That'd be D, D sharp, E, F, so on and so forth. Okay, so all these shapes are movable. And even like this one, that F7. Now, to maybe move that a, a fret higher, you might have to use different fingers to do it the exact same way, like that, which is kind of tricky. So what you can do is really just focus on like the lower three strings. Which is great, and I like doing it this way because there are different ways to kind of go about this and play the, the same structure of chords, but I think uh, specifically this F7 chord is maybe a shape that you don't see in like the basic intro to ukulele uh, type chord charts out there. Uh, so really, it's a good one to get your hands on, especially if you play on transition to guitar, this shape is gonna help you along the road, okay? So that structure is pretty much every single blues song ever made. C7, four bars, F two bars, C two bars, G one bar, F one bar, turn around. And that is basically every single blues song ever written on a ukulele in just a few short minutes. Definitely if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.